Hey class, can you see me? Class, class, can you see me? Uh, Chewy, you gotta put your hair down. I can't see. Hey everybody, I see you out there. <gasps> yes, I do see you. Oh, I'm glad you're here with me. Hey, Chewy's gonna help us today and we're gonna do our Bible verses and we're gonna review our Bible verses today. Okay, you're going to watch this video every day. It's the same video, but you're going to review and, and say your Bible verses every day. I want you out there, uh, Caden and, and Liam and Prince and Rebecca and Sonia and others out there. I want you guys to try and say the Bible verse with me, okay? And try to fill it in and see if you can do it before I do. And Chewie's going to stand over here and watch us. He's going to make sure that we do a good job. Okay, so we're going to start with... Oh, I got my Chewy shirt on too to go with Chewy. That's right. <laughs> okay, here we go. Genesis 1-1 says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Good job, class. What about... John 1-3 says, All things were made by... Him. That's right. And who is Him? That's right, it's God. God is Him. Psalms 139, verse 14 says, I am what? Fearfully and wonderfully made. And what does that mean? That we are special. God made every one of us very unique and very, very special to Him. Psalms 1830 says, As for God, His way is perfect and that's right god's way is perfect if we want to have the best life possible we should do it god's way because god's way class is what the best way we can have an okay life and maybe even mess up our life a little bit but if we do it god's way we're going to have the best life possible the perfect way i know about you i want to have the perfect life the best way possible Psalms 23, 1. Oh, I like this one. The Lord is my shepherd. That's right. Jesus is our shepherd. A shepherd, what does a shepherd do? He watches and protects and loves his sheep. And that's what Jesus does for us. Jesus watches us, he protects us, and he loves us very much. Philippians 4, 19 says, My God shall supply all your need that's right our needs not our wants i want a lot of stuff i want legos and and xbox games and pops all kinds of things and maybe you want lol dolls and cars hot wheel cars timothy likes his cars and so does prince and and rando lorenzo they all have cars and Caden likes his dinosaurs and edward <clears throat> he likes his dinosaurs or his big and his, he brings that sometimes and his different toys. So we all like different things. Eunice, her dolls, and, and other people bring their stuff. Madison has a pony, and even Ava has a pony. So people bring things in, and they like those things. But God promises not to give us all of our toys and all the things that we want, but our needs. So what are our needs? Food, clothes, and a house, a home to live in. Well, this is a good one. Isaiah 43, 5 says, Fear not, for I am with thee. God is always with us. Even at night, in the dark, alone, God is always with us because God loves us. He's like a shepherd. He's always watching out for us. Psalms 118, verse 1 says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. That's right. God is good, and we should always say thank you. That's why we say thank you for our food. That's why you should say thank you for mom and dad when they get you something or do something nice for you. We need to show that we are thankful, that we appreciate what God does for us and what others do for us. You should always give thanks. Luke eleven twenty eight says, Blessed are they that hear the word of God and, class, keep it. That's right. We hear it. Then we keep it where? In our hearts. So we can always remember it. And so we don't sin against God. We do the right things for God. James 1.17 says, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. That's right. From above in space? No, from heaven, from God. God gives us everything. 
John 360. Oh, we love this one. Let's do our hand motions. We'll do it twice so we can help mom and dad learn. Okay, John 316. For God so loved the world that he gave. Oh, let's do it over again. Here we go. For God. Oh, wait. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Let's do that again. I needed some help. Chewy, I'll do that again. Here we go. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Good job. You guys did good. You did better than me because I messed up, but you didn't. John 3.16. I love that verse. What about this? First John 3.23 says, love one another. How do we show love? Is love kissy love? Keep running up to people and kissing them? No, we don't have to kiss people. We show love by being kind. Be nice on the playground, sharing maybe the swings. Somebody falls down, we help them get up. Um, that's how we show love, by being kind and nice. Matthew 8, 27. Ooh, I like this one. Kind of scary. Even the what? The winds and the sea obey him. Why do they obey him, class? Because Jesus made the winds and the seas. They obey him because he made it. Matthew 28, 20 says... Lo, I am with you always. God is always with us. Even when we think we're alone, God is always there with us. Psalms 56, 3. What time I'm afraid, I will trust in thee. God is always with us. This little boy didn't obey his mommy. He got lost. He didn't stay with her. But he got scared. But God was still with him. And he was able to find his mommy. 1 John 4, 8 says... God is love. God wants us to love one another. God loves us. God is love. Oh, this is a good one. Genesis 16, 13 says, Thou God seest me. When Daniel was in the lion's den, God didn't forget him. God saw him in the dark. And God watched over and protected him against the lions. 1 John 4, 19 says, We love him because he first loved us. Yes, God is love. God loved us. 1 Timothy 1.15 says, Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. That's right. The Bible says we're all sin when we do bad things. So that's why God came. Jesus came to save us. John 14.6 says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's right. Only Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. That's why we believe in him. Proverbs 20.11 says, even a child is known by his doings. That's right. So we need to make sure we do the right things. Not the bad things. Not the wrong things. Not the sneaky things. But the right things. So people know that we are trying to be good. We're not trying to be bad and stinky. No. Ephesians 4.32 says, Be kind one to another. That's showing love. Being kind one to another. Here's a brand new one for this week. Jeremiah 33, 3 says, call unto me and I will answer thee. We call unto Jesus, pray to Jesus, he will always answer us. So let's do that again. Call unto me and I will answer thee. You guys did a good job. I think Chewy, did they do a good job? Yes, they did. Chewy was very proud of you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, they'll come back. Will you do this video again tomorrow? And the rest of the week, every day, do this video. And you can see Chewy and I today, okay? Okay, Chewy, you can give him a kiss goodbye. Yes, yes. We'll have to clean my screen. Here you go. Okay, he's cleaning the screen. <laughs> Thank you, Chewy. I'll see you guys later. Watch my video tomorrow. Bye-bye. Yeah, they did a good job, Chewy. Yeah, they knew it better than me in some cases. I think so. They were good.